Did you know you can run your gyre in reverse mode? Stay tuned as we explain this unique feature. Hi, this is Carlos from CVTV and today we're going to break down alternating gyre mode. One of the gyre's most unique features and which sets this pump apart from any other pump in the market is its ability to run in reverse mode. This is like having two pumps in one. Not only can you have your pump create its signature gyre as it runs, but you can actually have the pump switch to reverse mode and then create the gyre in the opposite direction. There isn't a pump out there in the market capable of doing this by itself. Running the gyre in alternate mode mimics a flow that closely resembles that of nature. This creates an environment of happy fish and healthy growing corals without the need of having multiple power heads all running at the same time. We will need the spare propellers and directional cages that came with your gyre. The alternating gyre mode creates tremendous amount of torque on the pump, so if you have a tank with a glass thicker than 0.5 inches, you will need the additional magnet kit. This magnet kit can be purchased at www.coralview.com. By default, the gyre comes with propellers A and B installed. If you pay close attention to the propellers, you will notice that the blades are angled. When installed, both propellers A and B have all blades facing the same direction. This allows the entire length of the propeller to grab a large amount of water and move it forward to create that linear flow and its trademark gyre. By removing one of the propellers from the gyre and replacing it with one of the spare ones included in the box, we can now have two propellers with blades angled in opposite directions. Your gyre will now be running on either two A propellers or two B propellers. Because of the angle of the blades, now half of the gyre will be able to fully grab water and move it forward, and the other half will create turbulence. But when the gyre runs in the opposite direction, and yeah, you just guessed it, the other propeller will now be able to fully grab water and move it forward, and the propeller on the opposite end of the gyre will now just create turbulence. Now you have a pump that can efficiently cycle water in both directions. You now have two pumps in one. After configuring the propellers, we now need to install the directional cages. Make sure that the cages match the propellers you're using. If you're using 2A propellers, then you should be installing 2A directional cages. If you're using 2B propellers, make sure that you're installed 2B directional cages. To program the gyre in alternating mode, please check out episode 1, Gyre 101, where we show you a step-by-step -step programming guide for each of the gyre's controllable modes. For the purposes of this video, we'll be using the XF-150 gyre, running in a 220-gallon peninsula reef tank. The inner part of the tank is 5.5 feet long by 3 feet deep and 20 inches tall. The tank also features a sand bed, many SPS corals, some LPS, and a couple of softies. There are many locations where the pump can be installed to run alternating gyre mode. You can run the pump horizontally at the top end of the aquarium, or you can run it vertically. You can run it vertically on the back end of the tank, or if you have a large enough tank with a center overflow, you can mount it on the center overflow. Before making the final decision as to where the pump will be mounted, we need to assess one very important part of our reef tank, the sand bed. Having a tank with a sand bed or bare bottom will dictate the directional speed. If you have a sand bed, you will need to test the gyre at different speeds to make sure that you don't end up with a sandstorm. If you have a bare bottom tank, then the sky is the limit. When mounting the gyre, pay close attention to the directional cages. Make sure that the intake is rotated away from the aquarium glass or overflow to prevent restricting the intake of water. One of the great things about alternating gyre mode is its ability to set different speeds for each of the gyre directions. You can adjust the speed of the gyre based on the distance the water needs to travel.
Here are some answers to frequently asked questions regarding alternating gyre mode. How do I differentiate between propellers A and propeller B? When looking at the propellers, if the blades are facing you and the white shaft attached to the propeller is on the left, then you're looking at propeller A. If the blades are facing you and the white shaft attached to the propeller is on the right, then you're holding propeller B. I am running the gyre in alternating gyre mode, but it does not move any water when running at 100% reverse. What's going on? Make sure that you have installed all propellers and cages of the same letter, either a set of two A's or a set of two B's. I am running my pump in the alternating gyre mode and it keeps drawing air from the water surface. How do I fix it? First, make sure that the pump is fully submerged. If you're running the pump horizontally, make sure that the water intake is not too close to the water surface when drawing water from the top. If you're running the gyre vertically, make sure that the water intake is not up against the panel, but instead facing away from it. I am running the gyre in alternating gyre mode, and I'm having a hard time keeping my sand in place. What now? Reduce the speed of the gyre or move it to a different location. You can also try changing the direction of the cages. If you have any other questions or problems with the gyre, please head over to www.coralview.com forward slash support and submit a support ticket. Thank you for watching the last video of our MaxSpec gyre series. If you missed the first two episodes, please head over to our YouTube channel for a complete list of all available videos. If you have any comments or tips to share with the fellow reefers, please leave them in the area below. If this is your first time watching, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as every Thursday we release a new video related to reefing. Thank you for watching CVTV and see you next time.